Hey guys, welcome to a video. I'm playing on Village. I'm on the Soviets. I've got three new guys from somewhere in Europe. I think they're around 400 MS on my team. Up against uh, some Aussie and, and New Zealand players. Sunny Boy, PGA, um, Greek, Golden Greek, and some other guy. I can't remember. Basically, I'm uploading this video. Just uh, got a request from some guy wanting me to post um, playing with new players. Um, up against a decent team. So, here I am. Uh, here's the game, basically. So, I've gone to Gaz to start. I think this start is OP. I posted a forum discussion on it. Um, I think uh, this start is the best start uh, for any nation if they have the Jeep. Single motions and a Jeep. Especially in, in maps where it's narrow. And most default maps are narrow. Where you just go down one flag. Um, and I went a, a few single infantry riflemen. I didn't go too many. Because I'm going, as the Russians, I like to go the BA-11 as quick as possible so I can counter that 2-2 two two that comes so uh, in the center here um, Golden Greek was a bit slow to get there so it wasn't the best uh, position by him to come to the center but um, it, he did okay, he didn't actually lose his entire his, most of his squad but I got the center that way um, it's, it's a bit of a risk I guess the more you go forward but I think um, you can quite easily um, prevent your G from getting hit that way so, um, yep, my uh, PGA is on the right, so he's probably the best player on the other team um, by miles. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a bit tough for the Eastern guy to actually um, hold him, I think, uh, definitely. So he's going to get uh, the Kabul start, and he's going to try to push up over there. I was thinking of trying to help, but my I think my Gaz got uh, demobilized there. Uh, so yeah, another th just replying for another comment on the channel, basically, uh, someone asked me why why I think, uh, I guess, AS, AS2 is dying and why I think uh, the devs didn't do a good job. Basically, um, if you haven't uh, been involved from the start of AS2, um, the release was marred with uh, horrible performance and balance wasn't that great. Um, lots of things didn't work in the game, and it went on for a very, very long time, um, basically. So, I think the most recent patch has made the performance playable. And um, pretty much all, all they've been doing in the past six months, uh, they have been trying to fix this performance. So that's been a thorn on their side, and that came at the expense of... Of um, yeah, really improving the game. So everything in the suggestions log didn't actually get touched until the last patch. So that's why um, yeah, the latest patch was the best one out of them all because it actually did introduce some balance changes and uh, performance fixes. So here's uh, BA11. I bought that armored car. It's um, yeah, it's in here in place so I can just counter the looks which I know is coming for sure because I went to gas. Um. Here, uh, it's not actually a sure bet to get it frontal. It's pretty hard to get the looks frontally with this. And I ended up a bit awkwardly too close to that looks. You have to stay around, just be on 90 range and you'll be fine. But uh, I went, uh, I didn't move back fast enough and Golden Greek was good enough to come in forward and get me. So, bad mistake there. I was hoping to take out that looks and go to the right and help my ally. But it looks like Golden Greek's going to clear the center. So I'm not getting much support at all from my ally in the center because he hasn't actually spawned anything anymore infantry. You can see nothing. On the left too, there's probably only one squad of my teammates. And the right here is going to struggle too. He's got no infantry left too. So um, if I go infantry, I can't because there's a looks on the middle and a looks on the eastern. And my infantry won't be able to do much. So I'm just going to go T-34-76. And at the same time... Uh, use my shock infantry. So I'm going to save my infantry, wait for my T-3470 to come, and uh, plan my assault then. For now, I'm not going to do anything but wait for that bank to come. Oh, as you can see, that, that T-3476, the 350 MP1, is now available. It comes with the 76mm. Not a great gun, but um, it's a good start. It's, actually, it's a good uh, starting uh, tank. I think Soviets do have a better chance now because of it. It can come out basically just after the P3 and and counter counter units uh, like that. Um, yeah, I thought P yeah the P3 is quite devastating before this uh, unit was out because there was no counter for a while. So shock troopers coming with the T34. Um, yeah, so I uh, that's one of the reasons why. 
Um, the other reasons why I'm talking to a lot of my uh, long-time AS1 player friends is, yeah, basically nothing's really changed yet from AS, AS, I want AS2. What AS2's, uh, was supposed to be giving is multi-core, um, now it, it's, it does, it's better, but not as good still as AS1 because of the performance of other things, such as the netcode. Um, no new maps, there's a few new maps, but those maps were all for 8v8 extreme mode, and there wasn't, and basically that's not even included yet. The max you can play now is 4v4, um, and the, the gameplay is different, I guess you can call it. Um, there's people that don't like it, a lot of people, ace players don't like it, but I think it's okay. The ranges are suited, the range changes are suited to this um, map sizes. Ideally, they'll have bigger maps and bigger ranges for really for rhythm and, and gameplay. But um, yeah, the maps are small, so I wasn't too afraid of going that hill. I just showed a little. I knew my attack was going to go faster down that hill, so it could have dodged that grenade. A uh, little little thing there. Um, so basically, um, yeah, those are the main reasons. It's basically a step back from AS uh, one um, for a lot of respects. Uh, but yeah, it supports the Steam integration, and I guess um, the gameplay is different, uh, which I don't mind this gameplay, but um, a lot don't. So that's one. Of the, that's the reasons, the main reasons, I guess, why Ace uh, Two isn't doing too well in community-wise. Um, I want to start hosting in houses again, balanced in houses, because I feel that the game will be good once the performance is improved. The next patch will be an eight v eight. What will include the eight v eight. In the patch and also um, hopefully replays and um, spectator mode. Uh, so yeah, I've gone to charge here because I need infantry to attack here. I don't want to waste too much MP on on, inf on anything else except the charge. I'm going to try to push up the right. The reason why I'm targeting the right is centers pretty much locked down. It's a hard hard area to take because it's all open fields and what I need to take that in the center is I guess more of a army, a more um, diverse army with a a tank combined with a infantry killer. But I don't have the MP, nor do I have the um, uh, nor do I have the the allies to help me because they're not spawning anything. As you can see, there's no infantry in the center, no infantry to the left. They won't spawn anything. So you can't count on your teammates, um, especially in pub games or new player games, to spawn. So I want to use these buildings here, this warehouse here, to actually use my T-34 to dodge uh, by using the concrete behind here, so the stug here can't really take me out. There's two layers here, and this layer is angled as well, so it's going to be hard, but now, uh, nice shot by the KV-1 on the side shot, that was uh, unexpected. I didn't expect that to help me, but um, I thought I could get a close shot here. Nevertheless, I'm just turning around so the KV-1 get a shot. Um, same as me, hull pierce. I could probably capture it. I probably should have done that, but um, uh, I wasn't that confident that he would have crewed it straight away. Um, yeah, in hindsight, I probably should have captured it. My infantry was a bit far though. Um, yeah, so now H is still in the back here. What I have to do is get my line of sight over here quickly and fight him. So. Uh, really, so if I didn't take, attack PGA, uh, PGA would have rampaged here, taken out my ally, gone away to spawn, then flanked me in the center. So, two reasons actually why I didn't go for the center is because I'm being, I'll be flanked by PGA, one. Two, it's hard to attack the center and I'll be bogged down with um, being overwhelmed. In the center, I can't be overwhelmed with numbers because it's an open field battle, it's counter versus counter, and they can beat me with the, the people, the amount of en enemies that are there. Two decent players in the center instead of just me and no backup. See, no backup at all. For some reason, no one's spawning left and center. So I'm going straight down here. I'm going to try to push a breakthrough. I find uh, other players do follow after a while. So once I make a breakthrough in this flag, these guys will hopefully move up. So attack the strongest player is my... my um, Attack the flank and the strongest player is also a good thing too. Another thing why I'm attacking the right. Because PJ is the strongest player. If I can knock, lock, knock him out... Um, that's if you're confident of beating him. If I can knock him out the game, um, he'll basically do a lot less impact to, to other players. And um, that will allow the other, other sides to hold. 
Um, so yeah, once uh, AV8 out, hopefully they can revive some of the community within houses. Uh, I know also why a lot of the veterans have left um, also because they can't get any GGs. Um, because really the skill level of the new players need to catch up definitely to to the old school players. There really isn't many uh, players that are long term or good players that are left um, playing the game from AS1. They've given up. Um, I haven't given up yet, quite yet. Um, I like the gameplay. I can't find another game that has uh, gameplay that's uh, good in action, plus uh, decent tactics and strategies. Um, I guess you can say Ace One was a bit more strategic, but um, or tactical. But still, I like it. I like this thing I did here. Look at this uh, hill. Just wait, a bit of patience. If I pop out, the person that pops out has the shot, and he can fall back. So he has the reaction speed there. So I, I got to shoot first because he's the one that's waiting. The guy is popping out. It's the fi usually fire first um, or force a early shot from the enemy. <laughs> Let's try and knock that chimney down. Trying to take it out. So pushing up here, he's got his his H taken out. I'm quite comfortable now. This T34 won't get countered by PGA for a long time because he's lost an expensive 600 MP unit. Uh, pack 30, pack 40, pretty useless. I'm not too afraid there. I'm gonna try a fire shot up through these concretes. The decrew then come out and hit with the HE. So you see, um, the enemy is still gaining points. I'm not too phased yet because I know once I capture this, it'll start ticking towards me. And once I capture this, I can attack below that hill here, which is um, up, um, which pretty much once you camp below the hill, you can ambush anyone that comes down quite easily. As he is, uh, you've probably seen in my infantry tutorial that uh, camping below the hills is is the best, very advantageous position. I'm just aiming to find where the dot meets. Aim at the thing, so now I'm going to aim straight there to shoot it at. That's what, how I was measuring it. Not having the lucky far shot thing uh, game this game. Yesterday I had an amazing far shot game. Um, basically killed about 7 tanks at 1 160 range and a few at 200 range just by far shooting. Um, too bad lucky I didn't record it. But once the replays are released, um, you don't need to remember to hit record before you start the game because um, you can hit save replay at the end of the game and it will pretty much uh, save your replay without having to remember to click start on the record at the start of the game. Um, yeah, so but it also has other things here. Matchmaking, another other things in AS2. Matchmaking is the shambles. Um, so, Marta, nah, won't penetrate a T-34 angled. No way. Yeah, the matchmaking... Uh, was a good potential feature which could have um, led to good balance games and good challenging games but uh, now it's just uh, full of exploits, uh, no one plays it, people full plugs um, and basically yeah because no one plays it you don't get any good games and plus it's laggy for some reason the netcode in matchmaking is much more laggy um, so yeah uh, that's that's uh, s sorry I didn't actually <laughs> Reply to in one concise, uh, um, concise uh, ramble. It was uh, bits and pieces there uh, for the person who was asking why AS2 um, isn't uh, seen in a good light by myself, and uh, that's so. Uh, so yeah, hopefully. Um, also, guys, if you're watching, I haven't said this for a long time. But get the R6 map packs if you want to play multiplayer and the more people that have it, the more variety of maps. Because we used to play that heaps in AS1 when we used to have in-houses, but we don't have in-houses much these days. I'm trying to revive them. Once the AV8s are up, um, yep, I'm definitely going to do that. So Brandenburg is sneaking, PJ, dirty bastard. I know it's coming, so I'm going to send some uh, riflemen here to block his Brandenburgers. Keep a lookout for those. Always have infantry running around side to side for it. Uh, Nibble, oh, got me with the track again. Just repaired my bloody track. And I don't know why Sunny Boy is sending that um, half track here, just not sure why. So I got the red guards here, because I got the position, uh, I think I got the position under control. And I think I, I'm confident I can push right through here and camp below that hill uh, with the red guards. Red guard with the bazookas can shoot anything that tries to pop out with, um, from that hill without getting shot. So that's why I got the red guards. And to push, um, take um, take advantage of my tank superiority, which means I'll have infantry super. Um, sorry. I will be able to defend against infantry killers. So red guards are a good option now because I'm 
I'm quite sure that they probably won't send a looks or two to two down here right now with the, such tank superiority. Um, yeah, so it takes lots of um, grenades to take out the MG sometimes for some reason. So yeah, happy to go shoot out with these guys. These are just measly assault squads. Should be able to just take them all out, no problem. Um, see, not sure where my ally got. See, the, see, my allies basically just bought nothing. See the map here. There's probably about. I've got more infantry than all four, three of my teammates combined, and they've bought an IS-122 and some other tank there. So, uh, bad luck with that uh, Panzerfaust there. But he's got a Tiger. <laughs> Unfortunately, my T-34 didn't reach the area here where I could have 50-50 played that Tiger. But that's the reason why I charged down here, because I wanted to get. Um, as close as possible so I can stop the Tiger from coming out. The um, Bazooka hit the angled front there. Uh, I think I'm going to be conf overconfident here. It probably wouldn't, shouldn't have, wouldn't have worked. Um, definitely wouldn't have worked so... Um, that kind of failed there. Because, um, yeah, I just reached there just too late. So his Tiger got into position where it could take, take me out from a range where I couldn't possibly damage it. So, um, yeah, uh, the question is um, with by that person who wants to see the requested uh, playing with newbies and um, trying to win against the odds. Uh, this is basically what I'm doing now is just trying to get the advantageous terrain, attacking the right person, um, attacking the right flank and uh, yeah basically really needing to use a lot of infantry as well to cover up for their non-infantry um, units and just taking out one area and trying to just defeat everything in your path, basically outplay, outplay them all in, in, I guess, positioning and choice of units uh, down this lane and choosing your battles, I guess. Wow, what a bazooka disintegrated my red guard. So again, the red guard's still trying to push through. Um, it's doing okay now, just holding this flag so far. Uh, Tiger in a position, I want to just move this, see, I'm going to move this guy over here. Checking to see if I can shoot. I want to use this guy here to just turn his turret. So I'm going to run here, that is a uh, Tiger turn, get my bazooka up, uh, for a shot. Just got a shot off, but nah, hit the track, damn it. <laughs> so I got a KV, uh, KV, KV2, because, um, yeah, uh, it's going to be quite decent from the battle of, from afar. I think I can just camp it back here and shoot across and to take out the Tiger, because there isn't much else I can board right now that can take out the Tiger, and uh, my red guards aren't... Are proving not to be that good, but the Nibble's doing a good job by the enemy, just knocking down my red guards. Uh, my allies have started to come up a bit with their PKPs and that, but still not an infantry from my allies. You can see on the mini map on the left there, there's pretty much no infantry from the allies there, just um, big tanks from them. So that's uh, a new players watching or players watching. You need to really have more infantry. As you can see, the 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 reason why I got all these flags is just having the infantry to push. Um, sending or buying one big tank is useless without the infantry support and the infantry to clear the way so your tank can get into a good position. Also, infantry can get into a good position to to ambush. So red guards here. I can. I think I'm confident to hold. You can see popping out. You got to right click. See these guys got pinned down. If you don't right click yourself, they'll probably go back into cover because there's too many guys and they're going to get pinned down. So sometimes you got to right click on the enemy there. I don't think I mentioned that before. I just right clicked on the KV KV two. Um, to take it out. I'm just getting a bit annoyed at my ally because they haven't actually been supporting me and or doing anything and they've killed my own troops there so they're not only the detriment as well but uh, no, can't complain we always we've been you before so just trying to get my so is it KV look at them mind blank KV2 or is it KV8 KV2 definitely KV2 <laughs> uh, yeah pushing up here so feel a breakthrough down here because it's uh, gonna test the uh, Test the uh, uh, defenses here. Hasn't been actually probed, so I'm going to try it. Take it out now. Running to different directions. Well, I've saw the Neville down there. Going to try to take it out. So just finding breakthroughs here. And just causing havoc behind the lines. And just doing the damage. We're getting the damage on the board. They're coming down here. So uh, the western point looks like they're doing okay. Just holding behind that hill, that windmill area. It's quite easy to hold, so he should be fine. Um, so as long as I can hold this, I can hold PGA, shut him down really from doing any damage to my allies, and then his allies will probably come help him, and I can fight them all an advantageous terrain underneath this hill here, and pop them away with the KV-2. 
from afar. So I think my yeah my KV two finally got uh, um, got his uh, got his uh, tiger, and he is a bit of a silly sunny boy. <laughs> Was able to get a grenade off from behind that fence. Yeah, see the tiger's dead. Um, yep. No, is it dead? <laughs> oh, not yet. It must be dead. Yeah, it must be dead. I took it out with the KV. KV2. Um, yeah, so holding position here. Doing okay. And flags are finally ticking away to our uh, team. So that's uh, basically my game plan here. Uh, see, see, my points are really low. One other thing you players do is don't spend enough points. Um, really, uh, only, if I if I didn't spend all these points the way I did, we would have lost the game already. Be it at the spawn, uh, I needed to use all these points um, to to do that. So, if uh, uh, basically if you if I didn't spend it, I would have lost by now, um, etc. So efficient use of points, basically hitting the timers. If you want to bank for something, you can. Let's say I'll, I, right now I want to have a tank. I wouldn't spend my squad on infantry. I wouldn't spend it on infantry, but um, that's I have the, I guess, enough infantry on the field. So I wouldn't get a tank without having enough infantry on the field, unless it's the very start where I know um, wanna, if I want to time the counter of my tank, basically. So getting away, getting the hell out of there because the Yoss wins there, and running back, get my KV to it. And you must have not seen that uh, red smoke. Yeah, I'm um, not playing new players, definitely not. PJ is probably one of the um, better players in um, Australia New Zealand. Uh, and Sunny Boy is pretty damn good as well. Um, for AS1 standards, they're abo um, definitely above average to, to good. Uh, but AS2 standards is probably one of the be best players in AS2. The standards gone down quite a lot uh, recently. Um, yeah, so anyone watching here... Um, um, yeah, feel free to hit me up with the game, guys, because uh, I really want to start um, a community, I guess, again. Uh, anyone from Australia, definitely hit me up, because uh, we won't need an American host. It'll be easy to play, and t for time zone-wise. But if you're from overseas, Europe, America, um, yeah, we can get an American host, play some in-houses, uh, balance games. I like to balance the game, so um, good players go with bad players, etc. It's the best way for fun games. No team stacking, no... Um, turtle stomps. I have been stomping as of late because I haven't played with um, Hansy, my teammates, or my friends for a long time. Because in AS1 we always used to balance the games, but um, in AS2 we just didn't have the numbers to really have a good team game to balance. So uh, yeah, get R6 guys, R6 map pack. Great maps, better than these uh, very narrow maps where you fight in one corridor. As you can see, I've been fighting in one corridor without needing to flank. Um, and it's much more uh, diversity in terrain and all of that so um not much to say else to say guys um hopefully is a patch coming out soon and i'll see you around i guess so let me know what if you want to see another type of video i can upload um i don't really upload my pub vids or any any vids other there's something special um to teach or to see um i felt like Feel like I've uploaded enough games so you know everything for now, but um, if I haven't, let me know what you want to see, or even, what you, or even if you want me to uh, play with a certain type of unit or a certain style, I can try and make it work, but um, I usually play with the, I guess, um, the style I play per usual, because I think it's the best way to win. Um, I'd like to try do some videos on openings, because um, there's lots of... Um, arguments about what opening is better. I think the bike, the jeep and infantry, single infantry is the best opening. Um, but even something marksman opening is good. Um, I beg to differ. But, um, I'll be happy to try that in a few videos. 
Anyway, see you around, guys. Oh, sorry, I'll leave the video up so you can watch the rest of the game.